I've been asked a question by one of my students, which I'm delighted to answer. So, Robert, thank you very much for asking the question. And the question is, what is your view on Udemy and similar platforms? The first thing I think I should say is you have to differentiate in your mind between platforms and marketplaces. Essentially, platforms are somewhere where you can host your courses, but you do the selling. And the marketplaces are where you have your courses uploaded, uh, but essentially the platform does most of the marketing and the selling for you. And obviously you share a lot of the revenue for that privilege. So the question really hangs on what's your objective. And I'm assuming that you really want to, to at least make a side income from your online courses because uh, it's all well and good making one or two courses um, for the general good. But if you are serious about it and you're making lots of courses, then I think you should be rewarded financially. And I think that makes a lot of sense. So for me, the two main marketplaces where I host my courses and make the bulk of my uh, online course income are obviously Udemy and Skillshare. Now, the point about Udemy and Skillshare is they are completely different. Udemy essentially sells courses on a course-by-course -course basis. Skillshare sells an enrollment, which gives you access to all the courses. And, and then as an instructor, you get a proportion, depending on how many premium uh, in, uh, enrolled students watch your courses, you get a share of the royalty pool. Um, the other thing to say about Udemy is that although there have been lots of changes in Udemy uh, over the time, the courses I think which are doing best at the moment are the longer, more complex courses. Whereas actually, funnily enough, the opposite is true on Skillshare, where the whole idea is to have shorter, bite-sized courses. So if you've got a very long course, what you can do is you can cut it up into different segments and then sequentially put it out in, in either as, as sort of little standalone units or as part one, part two, part three, part four uh, on Skillshare over a period of time. You can publish as often as you like on Udemy. On Skillshare, you can only publish one course every week. And by that, they mean every seven days because I published one on a Friday. I tried to publish another one on a Tuesday and they slapped me down for it. But it's all been good. We've sorted it out. I understand how it works. And I just think you just need to be a little bit careful about how that works. So other marketplaces where I have my courses hosted, and I have to admit, this was something I started with last year, and so far in terms of income, it's been quite slow going, are Stack Skills, uh, Simp, actually it's corrected it, it should be Simp Live, and the autocorrect made it simple, uh, Udonix, uh, Skillbox, Uleague, CyberU, Skill Success, Skillwise. Now, there are more and more of these uh, platforms, these marketplaces coming up all the time. And you need to be quite careful uh, which um, platforms you put your courses on. Mark Timberlake, check him out. He's on Facebook. He has got um, a list somewhere of the courses where, I think it's in his Facebook group, where um, he uh, is confident about posting the courses and others where he's not so confident about posting his courses. So he's a good resource to check out if you want to see whether or not uh, you should be posting to a particular um, angle. And of course, the part of the problem is a lot of these new startup plan, plan marketplaces want your courses, but they haven't got an audience. So you have to take a view as to how long you're prepared to wait for any income. One tip I would recommend is that when you're doing this, apart from not giving anybody exclusivity, either geographically, regionally or anything else, is to ask them if they have a back end where you can go in and see your course sales, because then you can monitor and find out whether you should be being paid or not. Uh, many of them don't have this to start up with, so you're taking totally on trust the fact that they're going to pay you if they sell some of your courses. And this is a real issue and it's something you need to, to bear in mind. Now, in terms of platforms, I always make sure that I have a copy of my courses on at least one other platform. And the two that I use are Teachable and Thinkific. And I've put my premium courses so far on Thinkific, but I've put all my courses in my Teachable school, which is also a membership site. So you need to make sure that you don't have all your eggs in one basket. If Udemy shuts down your account tomorrow, you need to make sure that you've got your courses 
set up somewhere else so that you can still access them and still work with them and you haven't got to start from scratch. And I recommend that you do that on a continual basis as well as have a detailed folder on your computer where you have all your videos, all your resources and probably a sheet explaining you know, the course descriptions and having all the descriptions for the lectures so that it's easy to replicate, particularly if you want to take it to other platforms. And also in that folder, number your videos and your course resources sequentially. So it's very easy for somebody else to upload them and get them in the right order. And that's something I've got set up so that if new platforms come to me or new marketplaces come to me, I can actually uh, very quickly put those uh, files in Dropbox and give them access to them if I so choose. So that's my view on Udemy and similar platforms. Um, I'm a great fan of Udemy. I'm a great fan of uh, Skillshare and I'm a great fan of Th Teachable and Thinkific and all the others. Um, I think, broadly speaking, the uh, jury is still out on. I hope that helps, Robert. Um, pleasure to answer your question. If you've got any more questions for me, then definitely get into my online learning uh, club Facebook group and um, pinned at the top is the AMA and just put a question in there and I'll do my best to make one of these videos and answer it for you.